to whom it may concern. <laughs> We've never met, but I can't help but feel like I owe you something. So that's why I'm writing this, to repay a debt. I can only assume that this letter has been appropriately forwarded to your desk or mailbox or however you receive messages. If this letter has reached you in error, please ensure it finds its way to the proper person in your department, namely the engineer responsible for traffic signals on the aforementioned 1.7 mile stretch of road, West 11th Avenue, between Olive and Chambers. <laughs> Pardon me for using such a generic title for your position, but you must understand the general citizenry has no idea who is responsible for things such as timing traffic lights. It's not something people see as important, but they should. Because you and your engineering colleagues are the callers in the last truly universal dance of the human species, the driver. Yes, we humans, when contrasted with similarly successful members of the animal kingdom, come across as rather lumbering and inelegant. We run like underdeveloped kangaroos, and sharks mistake even Olympic-level swimmers for drowning seals. But in the automobile, we find some measure of equality. We are at last afforded speed, grace, and with it, we can finally move in pods, herds, schools, and when competence permits, the great soaring flock engaged in the nonverbal ballet of high-speed motion, working separately but together to advance toward a common goal, the next mile, and the one after that. And this is where you come in. The traffic operations engineer responsible for West 11th Avenue between Olive and Chambers. Because what you have created is nothing less than an expression of art on a 1.7 mile wide canvas. The timing of your green lights is transcendent, uncompromised. Your piece of West 11th yields to no cross streets. It feels not the pressure of subconcrete weight sensors, nor the juvenile insistence of motion detectors. Everyone has driven a green line or two in their life as a motorist, but yours is so much more. The way the cascading greens flow like a wave. On olive you start, you paddle out with others in the 20 mile per hour zone that finally crosses the reef at Charlton into the luxurious freedom of 30. And if you've made it that far on the streak of greens, you've earned the surf. You can feel it curling around you as you continue to move, no longer paddling. You're standing on the board now, leaning into the throb of the wave. There's a brotherhood in the surf. For those with a steady foot and a lack of brake lights, there's camaraderie. <laughs> a mutual understanding that you're all part of a greater plan your plan. <laughs> but many fail to notice. They jam the gas, slam the brakes, street after street, stuck like stones as the wave of cars washes over them. Others, sluggish or distracted, fall behind the curl, drifting into a preventable stop in the rearview mirror, oblivious to your work, the intentionality. They fail to see what you've done for them, and I pity them for it. <laughs> because this is clearly a gift from you the traffic operations engineer responsible for West 11th Avenue between Olive and Chambers. A piece of poetry read hundreds of times a day from street corners where no one is listening, like Joshua Bell playing to an unimpressed rush hour crowd. But you need to understand how important it is to me, because driving alone late at night Something as simple and artful as a string of green lights can make all the difference. Can make you feel like someone notices you, like someone cares. In my more spiritual moments, that person is God. And my more realistic, that person is you. <laughs> all of you, the street corner poets, those who toil in obscurity with the fullness of their hearts, all those who are in their own way, the traffic operation engineers responsible for West 11th Avenue between Olive and Chambers. And I wanted to say thank you. I wanted to tell you I noticed.